Want to check out the latest and greatest in water sports? Well, we've got you covered this morning. Darren Trutman with Mr. Upboards and Pier joins us live from the Fox River with more. Hi, Darren. Good morning. Okay, what are we going to be taking a look at right now? Well, I'm Whoa. hanging out on the big three-seater O'Brien Relax Tube, so I figured we'd relax a little <laughs> bit this morning. That sounds uh -huh. wonderful. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Just hang out on the water, get towed around, and have a little fun. Okay, so... Um, this, we, oh, go ahead, Darren. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, this is one of O'Brien's three-person tubes. Great summer fun. This other one next to us is called a Super La Tube. Great for little kids where they can get down inside, feel nice and safe as they're getting yanked behind the boat. <laughs> um, over here, we've got a few other toys. We've got wake boards, wake surfboards, wake skates. Um, the wake boards, in fact, Nick's out on the water right now on a, a brand new Hyperlite wake board behind that beautiful Mastercraft. See how brave he's going to be here. Oh, oh excellent. <laughs> hey, that's what happens. That's what happens, Taking right? Taking one for the team. That's right. Happens to all of us. Now, I know you were saying, Darren, you were relaxing on that tube. Um, when I'm mm -hmm. out tubing on the water, I'm like holding on for dear life. So, <laughs> and hoping something like that doesn't happen that was just like out on the water. But those look really comfy. But hey, let's talk about um, the water skis that you have over there by you. Because I know that's another really popular thing uh, for the Absolutely. summer. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and skis are great nowadays. There are some for everybody. Like these little guys right here are perfect little trainer skis for little kids. Um, if they're just starting to get on the water, you don't want to put them on a full size set of skis that are, you know, they're going to be a lot to handle and, and, and try to manipulate in the water. So you can see how short these are. And what's great about this, you can actually connect them together. Oh, wow. So that way, when the kids are starting to get up, the skis are already going the right direction for them. And so, Darren, if someone, like, was skiing and, you know, they had that fall, I mean, do the skis, because I haven't skied in, like, a long time, do they stay connected? Do they fall off? What happens? They stay connected, but the bindings are loose enough that if they're in trouble, the kids are going to fall out and they'll be perfectly safe. Now, we're seeing video right now, Darren, of just one ski. Tell us about that. Mm -hmm. Slalom skiing, yeah, that's kind of the next progression. You start out on two. And then people will generally drop one, and then once they learn to do that and get comfortable on one ski, then they start up on one ski and off they go. I think either way, it's a very difficult sport, but something that's fun. <laughs> I mean, what age would you suggest someone to start water skiing or, or trying it out? Can I just go in the water and go ahead and try it out? Well, there's a lot of really neat ways to get started, too. There's something called a boom, which is a big pole that you can hang on to. It makes it real safe and real easy to start. Um, Boy, just about anything. It's water, so it doesn't hurt too bad as long as uh, you start out slow. Exactly. Well, Darren, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. It looks like a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs>